Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to give demonstration on a student result management system project. Basically, I am just creating this project in JFrame in NetBeans. It's time to run this project. Run file. Now, here you can see that it having two modules. The first one is a student module and another one is admin module. In a student module, when we click on it, it moves to the next page. Here, the user have to uh, uh, user have to enter their role numbers or you can say that the student have to enter their role numbers uh, I am entering a role number which already exists in my database okay search here here you can see that uh, the details of user as well as uh, marks you can see here uh, like uh, details course name branch name name of that student role number gender father's name and obtained marks by a student in each subject. If any user uh, not get uh, more uh, more than 30 marks or uh, less more than 30 marks, then here it shows fell in any subject. Uh, but uh, this student uh, get more than 30 marks in every subject, so it's showing pass. Let's see another user, another student. You can say like. Here you can see that the, this user get 29 marks in uh, physics 1 so that it here you can see that the fell okay and here you can also see that the total marks obtained by the student it back here like uh, we see that registered roll number but when we entered invalid roll number and look at what it's showing that incorrect roll number message okay and this way all about uh, student module let's see about admin module here the admin have to log in because uh, because of security policies okay like admin pass password is pass okay when we click on login here you can see that add new student insert new result registered student and all students result here first we are going to see already registered roll number first Sumit Kumar father's name Anil Kumar when we click, uh, click on create it already this roll number is already exists in our database when we click on create it shows the roll number is already exist it means that roll number is already in use so we are again so we are removing this all and uh, reading after the changing role number which are not exist in our database then we click on create Success successfully updated okay when we click on okay here you can see that we can again insert new details now we are clicking on insert new result like we are writing role number of that student zero five like he obtained uh, 34 marks chemistry 55 32 70 65 and we, we click on in save button successfully updated and now you uh, admin want to see the registered student then you just need to click on registered student student button here here you can see that uh, we have 005 Sumit Kumar name and father's name Anil Kumar and you can see here now again we are clicking on add student result here you also can see that 1005 34 55 42 70 and 65 it's all about admin module now uh, we are moving to the student module to see the that result here 1005 when we click on search button here you can see that all details we are entered there you can see here and this is also not editable you cannot edit this like course btec csc uh, sumit kumar name roll number gender uh, father's name uh, it does not obtain less than 30 marks so here you can see the pass uh, with total marks it's all about my project I hope you guys like this uh, like this video 
in description there is a link of source code of this project and I, I am also going to make videos how I created this project so please hit like and subscribe my channel thanks